Doug Flinger Design is well known for our line of DMX distribution products. Our line of standard splitters includes a 3, 5, and 11 output model. A 1 in 1 out unit for isolating and boosting the signal is available for when splitting is not required. This single output unit, which we call the DMX isolation amplifier, is available as a single universe, a 2 universe, and a 4 universe isolator. These single, dual, and quad isolation amplifiers are often used right near the console to protect the console from hazardous voltages that may come up the cable. These splitters and amplifiers are available with the standard DMX 5-pin connector, an optional 3-pin connector, or with removable screw terminal blocks. Mixed 5-pin and 3-pin connectors are available at no additional charge. Our 3 and 5 output splitters have internal input termination, which means no feed-through connector is provided. On these models, a non-isolated feed-through can be added in place of the internal termination. Our 11 output splitter comes standard with a non-isolated feed-through connector, which can be replaced with internal termination if desired. We titled this segment, The Slowest Splitter in the West. Being fast on the draw is essential in a gun battle, but fast transitions when driving data lines is not necessarily a good thing. Fast transitions when driving marginal cables or cables with improper termination can cause data errors. <laughs> Maxim, the semiconductor manufacturer, not the men's magazine, makes a line of drivers that are purposely slowed down. These are called slew rate limited drivers. According to the manufacturer, these drivers, quote, reduce EMI and reflections caused by improperly terminated cables. We use these slowed down drivers in our enhanced splitter. Slew rate limited drivers are only one of the enhancements to our enhanced splitter. Input and output protection protects the DMX input and outputs against line crosses, that's where the AC line gets crossed to the DMX cable, against miswiring, such as plugging a intercom cable into your DMX or against transients, which can be caused by lightning strikes or scuffing your feet on the carpet. The inputs are protected against up to 240 volts of line crosses and up to 15,000 volts of transients. Front panel diagnostics allow the user to check the status of the termination circuit at the end of the DMX line, right from the front panel of the splitter. And a validator chip measures the timing parameters and illuminates an LED when good DMX is present. And the enhanced splitter runs on any voltage between 90 and 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. The Preset 10 DMX Snapshot Console was introduced in 2003 as both a portable and an architectural unit. The Preset 10 Architectural fits in most North American single gang electrical boxes. Presets are recorded into the Preset 10 by taking a snapshot from any DMX 512 console. Presets are then played back at the press of a button. Each preset can have its own unique fade time from 0 to 999 seconds. The Preset 10 won ESTA's Product of the Year Award for 2003. But perhaps the best news is, the Preset 10's list price is less than $500. Welcome to Doug Flinner Design's Rural Think Tank. Here on 36 acres of pristine land, just over the hill from Hearst Castle, and adjacent to Lake Nascimento, Doug Flinner Design has erected a state-of-the-art research and design facility. This is also where we hold our company party once a year, usually in June. And of course, everybody in the industry is invited. Let's go inside. Here at the Doug Flinner Design Think Tank, we've developed some groundbreaking products. The DMX controlled coffee pot allows the console operator to start his coffee right from the board. But what if the operator's feet are tired? 
The DMX controlled foot massager allows the operator to adjust the intensity of the massage using a single DMX channel. And last year, we brought an automation tool to what we believe is the lighting designer's very first visualization product, the DMX sketch. But the product that's gotten the most market appeal is our DMX console. This console is simple to operate, inexpensive, has a single control channel. Basically, it's the opposite of ETC's obsession, so we call it the apathy. After a year on the market, we added the industry's most user-hostile interface, so we call it the apathy minus. With the apathy minus, you can bring up a single channel instead of all 512 channels. Doug Fleener Design is also known for DMX 512 interfaces. Here are slides of some of our standard products. The DMX to AMX converter allows newer consoles to drive older AMX 192 dimmers. A single output converter can drive up to 192 AMX dimmers. Our two output converter can drive up to 384 dimmers. We can build AMX converters for any number of dimmers on special order. The DMX to analog converter not only adapts older analog control dimmers to DMX control, but is often used to drive motor controllers, LEDs, voltage controlled amplifiers, and anything else that uses an analog control voltage. 24 output and 96 output converters are standard. Our relay packs could also be called DMX to contact closure converters. We use DMX values to open and close dry contact relays. Some of our relay packs bring the contacts out to connectors for user access. Other relay packs switch the incoming AC power to standard output connectors.